I don't care whatever age you are, if you love cartoons, you are a child at heart and that is the best way to be. Like who didn't love running from primary school sitting in front of the TV and just before waiting a favourite show to air with that intro theme being the thing to jumpstart you into the world of escapism. An iconic opening is very very important to viewers especially. It's going to be catchy, colourful and composed perfectly so I've taken it upon myself to create a list of my top 20, yes you heard right, 20 not 10 of my favourite cartoon themes of all time. Ranging from all years and decades and generations. Now, have I seen every cartoon out there? No. So whatever you see in here, please take with a grain of salt. As this ranking list is mainly focused on both song and visuals. So for something like as iconic as the Avatar series, although composed beautifully, with also meaning every word of Katara's dialogue, there's no really catchy theme song, or another example, regular show. My point exactly. In addition to this note, I'll be keeping anime out of this one, so if you expected Rock the Dragon to be in here or got to catch him off from Pokemon, well that's for another list. And without further ado, let's begin. It's hero time. Number 20 Kicking off with our list is Dex's Laboratory. I love how even for a comedic show, the music that is played is very ominous and quite spooky, not gonna lie. Following Dee Dee with her high sense of curiosity to Dexter's off-limits lab in his basement and pretty much annoying him to death, every time I watch or listen to this intro, I already wish I had my own laboratory in my basement. Legit. Number 19. <laughs> Going into number 19 is a cartoon unfortunately that no one really talks about and that's Generator Rex. And the great thing about this opening is that Cartoon Network actually used a song from an actual rock band for this. The song named Revolution from Orange perfectly encapsulates the vibe of the show. Rex is a young, upbeat, rebellious teenager going off to use his bio nanotech powers to save the world with his cool and wacky crew of friends. My only gripe is that I wish it was just a little longer, but other than that it's perfect. It gives me like major Green Day vibes which is a plus in my book always. Number 18 Yes ladies and gentlemen, number 18 is the intro that Robert Downey Jr plays as his alarm clock to wake up in the morning. The level of manliness and superhero badassery breaks the limit with this. Like honestly, Tony Stark in all of his mullet goodness, forging his armors and that sweet guitar riff and the iconic vocals of the dude shouting I am Iron Man. You feel as if you are a superhero as you're about to start the episode, but the fact that the style is clearly influenced from Paul Ryan's comic style is a defo yes from me. Number 17 The Total Drama series hits this list at number 17. Now for me, I despise reality TV with a passion, but Total Drama is the one and only exception. A one minute full song with the camera venturing across all of Camp Wawanakwa, we see a plethora of iconic locations, the variety of personalities of the cast members, from feuds and rivalries, and the wacky and over top characteristics and overall major summer camp vibes. And a song you just can't help but sing along to, with the lyrics a perfect reflection on the show itself. Number 16. There's a hundred and four days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it. So Be honest, if you grew up during the air day of the show, I guarantee you're singing along right now. Phineas and Ferb, a fun and upbeat tune with catchy lyrics, pretty much listing as many things the two wacky shape headed brothers will do during the gigantic summer break. Going over the top and beyond with their level of imagination and creativity, and even being self aware at the end of their own little title sequence, which is death row first. No joke, they legit do it all, and that's why it makes the list. Plus, again, if you're an Ortiz baby, I feel like I'm obligated to put this on the list. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence! Number 15. I'm gonna be honest, DuckTales is a cartoon that I've watched the least on this entire list but oh my god it's so addictively catchy and upbeat 
I couldn't help it put it on here. Following the adventurous tales of Scrooge McDuck and his nephews, you legit transformed back into a 7 year old from space to ancient tombs to prehistoric times and my favourite one of all, Scrooge McDuck diving into a pool of gold coins. This also goes to the 2017 reboot as well, <laughs> after listening to this you definitely want to be making some DuckTales on your own. If this list was based off catchiness alone, DuckTales would legit be contending for top spot. Number 14 it's time for anime. If I ever manage to visit the Warner Bros studio, I expect to be invited by the Animaniacs popping out of the water tower. But they're not real bro! Wait, what do you mean they're they not real? They don't exist, they're not real! What are you saying? They're not real bro! The Animaniacs are not real? No. What does that mean? Carrying on the streak of catching is an absolute buzz. Yaku and crew even give Dr. Seuss a good run for its money, and honestly, they perfectly portray the show with this intro. They're very, very self aware, zane to the max, totally insane y. Yes, they are animaniacs. Facts. Number 13. If I ever muster up the courage to learn the piano, this is the first tune I'm going to memorise or how to play, legit. Just writing the script for this while re-watching its intro, I came to the realisation on how genius this opening is. A cartoon based off imaginary friends, with the cartoon itself in its first few seconds being created on screen, from a blank white screen to the eventual creation of all these cool, fun and unique characters, with the main character Mac running from school, climbing up the giant foster home, and ending up wholesomely with him meeting his own imaginary friend, Craig McCracken and team defo deserve an applause for this. Number 12. Open a portal in time and plunge him into the future where my evil is law. Now the fool seeks to return to the past and undo the future that is our coup. How to have a goated cartoon intro? Step 1. Have the goat Marco Iwamatsu voice an opening dialogue piece. Step 2. Have such a cool stylized visual palette. And step 3. Have a lone samurai hacking and slashing robots and creatures with hip hop and techno mix beat in the background. I really love the sense of maturity in the final shot, especially with Jack walking up to the camera, calm and composed, and a quick glare with the slash across the screen and insert title. Bad ass. It's funny because only in recent years I figured out what he was being said. Gotta get back to the past, Samurai Jack. But for some reason, my dumb ass always heard, say, come on, Jack. Yeah, I don't know why. Samurai Jack is goaded. Let's move on. Number 11. Every day when you're walking down the street. If you look up the definition of happiness, I'm pretty sure Arthur will come up. What can I say? There's positive vibes surging through the sequence, friendship, family, fun, and for some reason, the rhythm of the streets. The lyrics don't make sense sometimes, not gonna lie. Plus, I don't know why it's a Jamaican tune, but it's catchy nonetheless. It's pretty wholesome as well. And Arthur was that song that we would sing out loud in high school. Always memorable. How could you not sing along, hey? What a wonderful kind of day. Hey! Hey! T.W. Hey! World. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it through the halfway point on this list. So take a quick break, come back, sit back and relax. And we are going in with the heavy hitters in the top 10. Are you ready? Number 10. Yep, yeah, did I totally plan to have Ben 10 as number 10 since the beginning? Of course I couldn't resist. This probably being my favourite cartoon of all time, debatably. The first several seconds hook you instantly with an eerie sci-fi inspired tune playing, reverse zooming out to the stars and planets and then the beat dropping moving into a cool edited sequence of the clips from the show to what I believe to be the highest point of the opening theme being the countdown of all the 10 aliens in Ben's arsenal. And the heavy use of green really gives off a unique sci-fi comic book style vibe. God damn it, I wish the Omnitrix was real. Number 
Yeah, just a heads up everyone, there's going to be a lot of superhero cartoon themes in this top 10. With Ben 10 at number 10, our favourite New York web slinger swings into number 9, being Spectacular Spider-Man. This is probably an unpopular opinion, although the classic theme is extremely iconic. Genuinely, I think the Spectacular Spider-Man theme deserves so much more praise. The dynamic animation of Spider-Man swinging across New York, the Sam Raimi themed web transitions, the Daily Bugle front page edits, and the catchy as hell lyrics, oh my god. It's legit a blasphemy how not many people recognise this. You f legit feel... You legit feel like Spider-Man while watching this. Another unpopular opinion, other than the comics, I feel like Spectacular Spider-Man is the definitive Spider-Man. Period. Number 8. Now we all knew Transformers was going to make it somewhere on this list. The hardest was, well, which one? We got the epic scope of Transformers Prime, the head bumping bass guitar of the anime like Transformers Armada, but I'm going to follow the old goal saying that nothing tops the original, with the version I'm going to be choosing is the post season 1 of the G1 series. What can I say, this is a classic, it's head bumping, the distinct look of the robot designs have you glued to the screen and even the animation becomes even more crisp as you go up the season count. Hell, even the tone changes and gets more darker and adult, it's so entrancing you legit feel like you're in the middle of a sentient robot war. Number 7 Recess, everyone's favourite time of day, and bloody hell I wish my recess was like this in real life. The level of imagination is insane here, the school is portrayed to be its own world within itself. From our main cast of characters, the liked by everyone and baller TJ, the athlete Vince, the tough one on the block Spinelli, the genius Gretchen, the BFG Mickey, and the wimpy yet likeable Gus. Every single character on the playground is distinct with a theme you will be humming for days. But unfortunately, you hear that school bell, everyone has to go inside and yet again they have to wait till the next recess. Truly an animated classic. Number 6 Oh yes, every Friday evening to kickstart my weekend from school, I flip and love Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes. Again, kind of like Generator Rex, a show that I believe to be very, very underrated. A true comic book experience brought to animation. We have our favourites from Thor, Iron Man to Hulk to Captain America. The intro is legit its own narrative. An alien threat invading and destroying New York City, and we have our heroic crusaders assembling and saving the day, composed very cinematically. With a light nod to the MCU, you can't help but love it. It's so heroic and inspiring. Number 5 We go from one superhero group to the other, a song that will be stuck in your head for a good month. X-Men, the animated series, is the definitive X-Men theme in my opinion, and to this day one of the most epic in scale. The legendary designs from my favourite artist Jim Lee, every X-Men having their own title heads from Cyclops to Wolverine and to My Girl Rogue, even the giant X randomly exploding in the background gets you hyped, ending the theme with Xavier's crew of X-Men and Magneto's Brotherhood charging at each other with another explosion at the end of it. The variety of colours make it as if the comic book came to life, and bloody hell that bass is so 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 catchy. Number 4 Yeah, now we are entering goat tier territory with a cartoon that's very dear to my heart. Coming in at number 4 is Gravity Falls. Man, what a hook. The hypnotizing theme tune, the animated time lapse shots of Oregon and its mountainscape, following the cool and adventurous Dipper and the adorable Mabel, just the accumulation of everything that we see from this town. Something ain't right, and it's up to the charismatic siblings to figure out the mysteries of Gravity Falls. The fact that there's so much foreshadowing in this intro, without even knowing, you know the creators are having a blast. Man, I love this show so much. Number 3 Who would have thought that mixing a DC Comics team of young superheroes and J-pop would make such a legendary combo? The clear anime influence really makes a standout from the rest of the crowd, and the use of colour work, its perfect mix of manga and action, 
Honestly, I just deep thinking about it, but the Teen Titans could possibly be the reason why I'm such a big fan of J-Pop and J-Rock to this day. And we all know the thing, everyone, right? Teen Titans go! Number 2 This was one of the most difficult choices of rankings I've ever had to face. Which one do I choose? Where are you from the original Scooby Doo? Or my childhood favourite What's New Scooby Doo? But the nostalgia did take over me so I'm putting What's New Scooby Doo as number 2. Just like the way Teen Titans influenced me with J-Pop, What's New Scooby Doo played a major factor for my love of pop punk. Composed by Simple Plan, one of my favourite bands out there, What's New Scooby Doo is more of a modern depiction of the Hanna-Barbera original classic. The iconography still holds strong, but it's different enough to distinguish itself with its more dynamic and visual colour palette. And I know I've repeated myself way too many times on this list, but again, the lyrics are so catchy. Number 1 Yes, 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 the moment we've all been waiting for. For my number one cartoon theme of all time goes the lovable square sponge who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Any objections I hear? Of course not. Even the concept of the show is so bizarre, it still bloody works. But not just works, it works perfectly. Brilliantly, superbly, Steven Hillenberg, you absolute goat. The fact that you can legit be having such a miserable day, but when you sit down on the couch and you hear Patty the Pirate say, are you ready? How could you not smile and sing along? SpongeBob is one of my all time favorites, so I'm very proud to put this in the number one spot. And still to this day, I try to replicate SpongeBob's little cute little nose flute melody at the end. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. Ah, close enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my top 20 cartoon themes of all time. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, subjective, of course, very, very biased, very, very nostalgia based, especially with like the top 10. Pr pretty much all of them, honestly. Like, of course, you're going to be thinking, oh, where's, I don't know, all the Hanna Barbera classics, the Jetsons, Mask. Uh, the Tick. Well, I haven't seen any of them, so I don't know, maybe I might revisit this list in a couple of years time after my plethora and library of cartoons has uh, expanded. But for now, I'm content with this list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think below. What is your list of all time? Uh, I would really like to know. Uh, and with that said, I am signing out. Everybody, please take care. Stay youthful, stay humble, and peace.